Hey everybody, this is Peter with BibleMoneyMatters.com and today we're going to do an unboxing and quick review of the Amazon Fire TV second generation. It's the one, the new one with the 4K Ultra HD, so hang out and we'll be checking it out. Okay, so this is the box that the Amazon Fire TV came in. Again, this is the second generation version, so let's start opening the package here. We'll slide that off, open that up, and there's the unit there. Again, a few of the specs on the Fire TV. Uh, high definition screen resolution for 720p, 1080p, or 4K Ultra HD. Access to Alexa, the cloud-based voice service information for weather, sports, scores, and more. Has uh, Wi-Fi and Ethernet connections. Supports up to 7.1 channel Dolby Digital Plus surround sound. Has an HDMI output, micro SD slot, USB port, and a 2 GHz quad-core processor with and dedicated graphics for a great gaming experience. Also has Bluetooth support, and uh, comes with a, a voice remote, a power adapter, and the Amazon Fire TV. So let's pop this out of the box here. Comes wrapped in this uh, plastic here. We'll see if we can get that open. And there's that. Put that there. Also in the box we have the, the manual here. Fire TV. Change the way you TV. And that just has a few things you can watch on your Fire TV. Also in the box we have the Fire TV Quick Start Guide here. Alright, let's see what else. So as you can see here we've got the voice remote, we've got the power adapter. The question is, are there batteries in? Well, oh, look at that. Yes there are. So that's Good to know. There you have it. Everything that comes in the box with the Amazon Fire TV second generation. You got the power brick. You got the voice remote. Take a closer look at that. And then you have the Amazon Fire TV itself. Take a quick look at the back of it here. You have your uh, hole for your power adapter, HDMI, Ethernet. place to put in a expandable storage and a USB port. So that's pretty much it. There it is. Small. It's actually su kind of surprising how small this unit is, but uh, there it is. Okay, well we finally have the Fire TV set up on my uh, TV here, and as you can see, it's downloading an update right now. Uh, out of the box, the firmware was not up to date. Uh, so it's downloading that now. It's going to apply that and reboot when it's done. So once that's done, we'll come back and check out the interface. We are on home screen of the Amazon Fire TV that we just installed. Uh, we installed this on our TV in our living room, which is what you're viewing it on right now. Uh, this is the home screen where you, at the top you have your recent uh, apps that you've used. Let's see, we've got our Tableau, Plex, Netflix, Play on PlayStation View. There's some uh, Amazon video my son was watching, and then some video games, and more video that my son was watching. These are all the recent apps that we've used. And on the home screen you're going to have a bunch of other stuff as well. Your Prime uh, content, Prime Originals, and exclusive TV shows, featured movies and TVs. This is something new within the past uh, week or so. They've added the ability to search other apps besides just Amazon apps and uh, a couple of other apps. Now you can actually search Netflix uh, and I think set up to 75 different apps so you can search the content within the apps. So as you can see here, here's recommended content from Netflix so you can watch all these shows. So let's go back. Uh, Add-on subscriptions you can buy. Here's more prime content. Uh, in addition to the home screen, 
you're just going to have the different sections here. You have your video. Uh, these are going to be uh, all the video that you have access to with your account. Here's my watch list, stuff that I wanted to watch. Uh, the video library. These are movies and TV shows that we actually own after purchasing them on Amazon. Netflix shows. And again, more stuff like that that we saw on the home screen. Uh, TV shows. Movies. Game section. Uh, in the first row there, you'll see the games that we've actually downloaded and own, own under your games library. Apps. These are this is probably the bread and butter of what we use Fire TV for. Are these apps? Uh, Tableau is our over-the-air DVR. It DVR shows for us, so we can watch them later. Plex is a media server. Pluto. Again, uh, TV shows, kind of an online TV uh, network. Play On is another media software we use. And then PlayStation View is kind of a cable TV replacement uh, service. Uh, you can get all your favorite channels and sports channels and everything else, too. And, of course, Netflix, Crackle, and a few others. So let's actually go into one of these apps that we use. Let's try out, uh, let's try out the Netflix app for example. There it comes. Let's see if we can get that over there. Oh. Okay, we'll choose ours here. And you can there's the main screen. You can see I've been watching Narcos and Netflix series. And these are other shows that we've been watching our list popular on Netflix trending as you can see it it is very smooth on the fire TV you really don't see much of any delays or anything it just works and there it goes you can play whatever you want to and it'll just pop up on the screen there it plays extremely quickly as you can see it plays very smooth not on the fire tv stick sometimes i would have uh, more of a buffering or a slowdown as it tried to load the the video but on here it has uh, more memory things load just extremely quickly and uh, i'm extremely happy with the performance so that's that let's get out of there so that's it, the Amazon Fire TV. It works great. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it's $99.99. Uh, if you can find it at a reduced rate, which it does go on sale every once in a while on Amazon, we actually bought it for $84.99. Uh, jump on it at that price if you can, but otherwise, even at $99.99, it's a good, uh, good bargain. Uh, we use it as the kind of the centerpiece of our entertainment hub. We watch all, all of our TV shows uh, through PlayStation View, Netflix, Tableau, and Plex. Those are our main cord cutting tools, and it saves us a ton of money every month. So check it out. Highly recommended.